Today I'm looking at a Ford Galaxy with a 1.8. It's petrol uh, direct injection. And it's just cranking and not starting. Ever since they filled up with petrol, it's not started. It does have over 10 bar in a compression test in each cylinder, as that was checked before I got here. And it's got plenty of fuel pressure. There's no fault codes. So I've got this into the coil, the coil removed, and the trigger. And I've got the pressure transducer in the cylinder. I'm just doing this to quickly. Also got a belt on the floor that came off the alternator belt. So we're thinking it might have jumped a tooth. But by doing a quick crank, it does crank like there's plenty of compression though. But I think the reason for that is, I'll just get this thing to, I've already cranked it. Here's my thoughts on this. This is the dwell period of the coil, not the firing period. And you can see TDC and TDC, and we've got about just over 10 bar of pressure. You see this straight line that comes off there, it shouldn't be like that, we should have a dip. And this hump here should be nearer the 360. So it's like the timing's shifted over, it should be further over here. And that would be a, a little hump. So it looks to me like the exhaust camshaft is out of time. That's what it, what it looks like here. It's way over here. And you can see where the inlet's actually here. Where it starts going down as well. So it could, could be that both the inlet and exhaust have gone. So it's like the cranks had a sink to the other two. So the intake exhaust would be here. And you can see where that is. That would be where the intake's opened. And the exhaust shouldn't be closing about here and having a hump there. So it's like the cranks moved out of line to the two cams. So it looks like that belt's done some damage by getting in there and we need to now strip it down. We've got enough evidence here that we can say it's definitely worth stripping it down and checking the timing marks. But this was just a quick test to see if it was worth going that way and there's enough evidence here to see there is. So it looks like the uh, the camshaft here, the, so the exhaust should be nearer the center and the intake should be further this way as well. So it's definitely out of alignment. The crank is out of alignment to the two cams. So I would say the crank is advanced, really. So if that's advanced, that's gone up. But it should be over here when it's going, you know, so the crank has advanced quite a few degrees, whatever that is. Here, we could work it out. I got this at 290 degrees, and it should be nearer the 360, obviously, because this is where the valves are overlap's going to happen. That won't matter anyway. We've got the compression. Compression test worked fine with a compression gauge. Because it's like, as soon as we get the compression, then it's on the power stroke next, but the exhaust valve opens whilst it's on the power stroke. And that's what the problem is. You see how it shifted? So it's opening. Instead of having a power stroke, it's almost compression, then going into exhaust. So that's the problem. So I was just showing, out of interest, a quick way of checking if it's worth going as far as checking the timing. Uh, it's quite a quick test, and it proves that, yeah, there is an issue with the timing. And it looks like that belt's caused it that's gone into the engine. So thanks for watching.